DaVinci Resolve is coming to the iPad. Uh, I, I feel a little late. I'm like half an hour late. I'm not late. DaVinci Resolve is coming to the iPad. This is fantastic. There's a lot to talk about. I am very, very excited. And I really think you should be too. Apple just released the video for the updated iPad and iPad Pro. Uh, and when you go to the iPad Pro section, the first thing they show off, they show off an iPad and then boom, they're in DaVinci Resolve. Ah! If you don't know, I previously did a video all about what I wanted if DaVinci Resolve came to the iPad, and it looks like some, some really cool stuff is happening. Resolve is all over this announcement video, and it even gets specific shoutouts that it is coming as a new pro app to the iPad. Uh, there's one very important thing I want to uh, focus on or talk about, start discussion. Look, down here in the menu block, we only have two icons where normally in Resolve, you have the whole array. This here is the icon for the cut page and the next to that is the color page. So if you didn't see my previous video, this is about exactly what I wanted slash predicted. I thought that a iPad version of Resolve could stand alone as just the cut page. I think it makes a lot of sense that they also did the color page in here. Um, but while this might seem restrictive at first, I am very optimistic that uh, Blackmagic Design and Resolve could be doing some very, very cool things. But I also think this limitation makes a lot of sense. Instead of porting over the entire system, they can really focus on the cut page and especially make it work really well with this touch interface. And I'm assuming uh, they did some of that on the color page. I'm not sure how much you can really dumb down the color page. It's pretty intense. Um, but I want to talk about one, one really, really important, cool thing, and that is the cloud. With Resolve 18, we got Blackmagic Cloud, where you can host a project on their servers and people from anywhere in the world can access it and update it. You can have multiple people working in a project at one time that's very cool and i i want it here and i think i think it will be here right especially if we go on to talk about storage storage on the ipad will be very limited but imagine this you film something completely uh, wild on professional cameras you have all these crazy files and you have a desktop or maybe someone on set if you're on a set in just all that media set up a basic cloud project on a full desktop, and then all that media instantly gets dropped into Resolve's proxy generation, generates all those proxies, and then you could have anyone else anywhere in the world on an iPad, just open that cloud project, sync a file of proxy media, download very quickly, and get to work on dailies, get to work on quick cuts, or even start editing in general on the cut page. And then in that cloud project, anyone on any other system could open it up and possibly at the same time as someone is working in the iPad version and work with the full suite of tools in the desktop version, like Fusion, which is what, which is like my jam. I'm all about Fusion, Fusion rocks. I hope I'm not setting expectations too high, but I think there's just so much natural integration that could work here. Worst case scenario, I would still kind of anticipate that you could export a DaVinci Resolve project file from the iPad version, maybe open that up in the standalone version, if not uh, working in the cloud at the same time. But this is all new technology and it would just make so much sense to work together, right? It's very, very exciting. And then you got this guy, the Resolve Speed Editor. You could go anywhere, and if you have one speed editor connected to the iPad through Bluetooth, you could have Resolve have the speed editor, uh, like almost a full uh, desktop workflow, and all you need is just like an iPad and a speed editor. Very exciting. We have no official word from Blackmagic Design yet on this version of Resolve or like when it will launch or even features. I anticipate lots of people will be talking about this soon. I want to talk about it more. Um, I will do what I can to get an iPad. We'll see how that goes, especially about any uh, fusion interplay. You have access to effects uh, in the cut page in Resolve, so it's possible uh, that I can still make fusion effects that someone could load on an iPad and use in the cut page. Uh, it has that M2. It has, it has a lot of power. I will be talking more about this. I will be uh, diving in uh, hopefully as soon as I can. So stick around. I want to talk about this a whole lot more. And if you want to learn more about Resolve in general or some really cool stuff in Fusion, like what I do, that's what this channel is really all about. And if you want to support that mission or support uh, picking up tools like the iPad, I do have some uh, paid products. I have tons of free downloads on my site. Anyway, this is exciting. Ah, I kind of nailed it. I kind of called it. Thanks. I'll see you next time.